Hi, welcome to Shop Stop. Do you ever have that shaft you're trying to get a bearing onto and it almost fits and you're ready to get the hammer and a two before and knock it on and then uh, you think better? Well, we're gonna show you how to install a bearing and it has to be a bearing that's not sealed. If it has rubber seals, you're not gonna be able to do this. But what you wanna do is you wanna heat the bearing up and you can do this in a series of ways. One is you can put it in the oven. Two, you can use a uh, heat gun, which we used on this bearing today. But the best way is to get an old deep fat fryer, put cooking oil in it, and just drop the bearing in there until it, uh, until it gets hot, and then pull it out, and then uh, slip it on the shaft. You want to be sure to hold off on the breading when you put it in the deep fat fryer also. But uh, it'll slide on, it's going to stick, and then it'll be in place once the, the metal in the bearing contracts back to its normal position. Yeah, it'll be a shrink fit on the, on the bearing, but uh, that's a, a decent way to, to get those bearings uh, heated up to put them on the shafts. So if I heat the bearing up and get it on the shaft and it fits, what happens when it fails and I need to get it off? Well, there are a couple of ways. Uh, but we're going to show you whether it's necessarily this type of bearing or any type of bearing. Say it's on your combine, it's set outside, it's, the shaft's gotten rusty. We're going to show you how to cut this bearing off. Now, you'll want to make sure that uh, you have a fire extinguisher or water hose and have your machine outside the field where you don't catch the whole countryside on fire. Okay, when you set your torch, you don't want to have it a super hot flame, but, uh, but get it where at least cut metal. Now what you're going to have to do is cut off the outside race of the bearing, and then there's going to be grease in there possibly, and in some of these bearings they have a plastic race, so they're gonna, that's going to burn out of there. So make sure you've got a shield on to protect your face and, and get you as long sleeves. I don't have long sleeves because it's hotter than Hades today. And, uh, but if, if you got long sleeves, get them on to protect your arms. Here's our fire extinguisher. You can see the grease is burning out of that. There we go. Okay, now we've got the, uh, the outer race off, we've got the cage off, and now we're gonna cut that inner race off. Oh, there you, and so I'm gonna do that. And what you're going to do is you're wanting to angle that torch and, and not bite into that shaft as you're making a cut. So let's see if I can do this without turning up the shaft. Now once you, once you cut one side, a lot of times that'll loosen it up enough just to be able to pull it on off of there. If not, you'll have to do that to the other side. As you can see, I didn't cut into the shaft. So that's how you can get a bearing off of a rusted shaft. Again, one of the key things to remember is, is to make sure that you're ready for that fire when it starts because there's gonna be grease there, like we said. There's gonna be some plastic inside that and there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff underneath you that might be willing to burn too when sparks come down on it. So, so be prepared for that and be in the right area when you're cutting it off. Got one more little tip while we've got these gloves on. If you've got welding gloves and they're getting stiff on the fingers like these are, get you some baby oil and, and rub your gloves down and that'll soften them up and make them more pliable where you can do, do your work and not have to be fighting your stiff fingers all the time. So there's some tips on bearings this week from Shop Stop. We'll see you next time.